Hi everyone, Nat here from Naturally Good, inspired by another Facebook post to make you another video. Um, I saw a comment on Facebook the other day from a woman in a cleaning group about um, how she doesn't use her dishwasher and the, you know asked the question was she the only one and I was horrified by the number of people who came back going no nah, don't use ours it's rubbish no 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 don't use it don't use it just hand wash the dishes much rather do that blah 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 um, horrified only because a dishwasher is far more water efficient than hand washing your dishes provided you do it the right way um, and I also think there's a lot of people who think that their dishwasher doesn't work because they're maybe expecting too much or um, not using it the way it's meant to be used. Uh, and I also have a major issue, <laughs> just another one of my major issues, with people who rinse their dishes before putting them in the dishwasher because again that's unnecessary and it's a, a complete waste of water. Um, your dishwasher is capable of doing uh, a very good job if, you, if you're doing it right, if you're using it correctly. So I thought I'll just do a little quick video on, what, uh, on, on how I use my dishwasher and how I get the best results out of it every time. Um, starting with, read the instructions um, because there are a number of settings in your dishwasher and that little rinse aid um, the thing where your rinse aid drying aid goes, the little circular thing, uh, there's actually um, a whole set of rules around using that which I never realised until until I read the instructions. It's amazing what's in them. Um, but you can get completely different results out of your dishwasher depending on which cycle you use, how you've stacked the dishwasher, what kind of things are in there um, and and with the rinse aid, the drying aid, a bit different results depending on on how much, you know, how you how you use that little dialy thing and how much it lets out each wash. So I do recommend if you have a dishwasher, read the instructions. Uh, even if you don't know where the instructions are these days, instructions for just about everything can be found um, online. Google's very helpful like that. Um, so yeah, so first of all, read the instructions and understand when each cycle is, each different type of cycle is, uh, you know, going to perform best. Um, secondly, scrape, don't rinse out, but do scrape out your dishes before you start, before you load them in the dishwasher. So don't put them in there absolutely coated. Um, and here's a bowl that I've got as an example. So you can see that there's quite a bit of food, you know, well, left in the bottom there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that in the dishwasher. But there's no need to rinse it because, first of all, you don't want to be washing food down the drain. If you wash the wrong thing down there, it's going to block your drains and then you have to pay for a plumber. Um, and second of all, because you just don't need to. Like, you've still got cutlery that you're perfectly capable of using. Um, if, and that's done a very adequate job. Now when I scrape this out into the bin, if it doesn't come off the spoon easily, unfortunately there is always something, plastics or you know the bread bag, something in the bin and I will just grab that and use that to wipe off the spoon. Um, the other option is to use an eco-friendly piece of paper towel, um, like the who, who Gives a Crap bamboo paper towel is terrific, that does a great job. Um, if you've got, say, a frying pan that's full of oil, um, if, if there's a fair bit of oil, like if it's, while, while the pan is still warm, like immediately after you finish cooking, uh, I keep a, excuse me while I grab it, an old pasta jar beside the stove, um, and any excess oil I just tip into here after I've finished. Um, before it's cooled and congealed, I make sure it's still runny and I tip it in. Uh, if it does congeal, I just turn the stove back on, warm it up enough, and then tip it out. Uh, I find actually with the frying pan that with the non-stick frying pans, tipping the excess oil out and then just wiping the remainder out with a paper towel is in fact, it's clean. Um, I don't need to wash it. I don't need to wash it with anything else. That's more than enough to do the job. Um, but yes, any any oil that won't actually tip out, any that's left that's you know not quite enough 
to run out into the jar, I will get a piece of paper toweling, I'll wipe it out and I'll throw the paper toweling in the bin because, as I said, you, you know, oil is one of those things you really don't want to wash down the drain because it will congeal and then it will block your pipes. So um, I make sure that it goes in the bin. <laughs> um, now I've got also one I prepared earlier here. Um, this is a dish that I, a, a, you know, like a lasagna dish well I did a frittata in it so it's a frittata dish um, and it's still got lots and lots of egg stuck inside it so what I'm going to do is tip I've had it soaking I've just had it, had it sitting there with water in it overnight I'm now going to tip the water into um, this bowl uh, and then take it outside this is a dirty bowl anyway but I'm just going to take it outside and tip it on the garden so I'm not wasting the water that I soaked the um the egg in and then once i've done that hopefully i get it in the bowl and not all over the bench uh, i'm then going to take the scraper and just scrape off the excess skanky bits and they'll be going in the bin as well um, now with a lot of our food scraps, and this, this has been soaking, so this will go in the bin, but the, uh, the stuff I scraped off the bowl earlier will actually go to the chickens. Um, we have chickens, so a lot of our food scraps go out to them. Um, we also have a compost bin, so any, any and a worm farm. So a lot, almost all of our scraps, there's, there's not a lot of food waste that actually goes into our rubbish bin apart from um, meat products which at this stage uh, is unavoidable but um, I heard if you get a bakashi bin you can put meat in that so I'll be doing some research into that shortly anyway so you know you can see most of that's come off it's going in the bin and then that will get into the dishwasher and it'll come out pretty much spotless um, now I'm going to try and show you the dishwasher if I can because the other thing that's important is the way that you load the dishwasher and I I feel like I really shouldn't need to say this but then I watch how my partner loads the dishwasher and I know that I do you cannot expect things to get clean if they are it's a nice view up my nose sorry if they are wedged up against each other like you couldn't possibly expect this goodness me I've just collapsed everything this plate over here to get clean when it's wedged up right against that you need to leave a space in between everything um, you need to leave enough space for the water to be able to get through and now I've knocked it all over and I can't fix it with one hand uh, sorry I'm doing a terrible job and probably making you all quite sick so when I load my bowls for example uh, I will make sure that there's enough space for the water to get up in between and actually wash the bowl um, I'm not going to wedge them all in just for the sake of trying to fit as much as I possibly can in the dishwasher uh, when it's you know it's not wait it's not environmentally friendly to use the dishwasher if you're going to pack it like that and then have to wash everything again um, so yeah make sure that use a bit of common sense and make sure that there's enough space in between the dishes that the water is actually going to be able to get up in there and clean the dishes um, and of course use a good dishwasher powder obviously I use Tri Nature for a number of reasons um, because I don't want residue of anything toxic on my plates uh, because it's le way less than half of what most of the other um, products are and it's not going to kill the fish when it goes down the drains and because it works um, so there's that make sure you're using something good that works uh, and I think that's about it really just make sure you pick the right cycle which you'll be able to do after you've read your instructions right uh, oh I know that was my one last tip when I this is just me being lazy when I load the cutlery basket you can see God, how do I do this without tipping it out? Um, so I've got all my, all my forks in one, all my knives in the other, all my spoons in the other. Um, and this is just a bit of a time saver. So that when I go to get them out, when I'm unloading the dishwasher, I can just grab all the knives out of the one thing 
and stick them straight into the drawer in the knife slot. I don't have to spend five minutes picking a knife from here and a knife from there and a knife from there and then do the same thing with the forks. It's just bang, they're all in the one slot and they go straight into the one slot in the drawer. So there's a, there's a time hack for you. So this is how you can save money on your water bills using your dishwasher and, and time for yourself by not having to hand wash and time in putting your cutlery away. <laughs> all right, thanks.